What if we told you there was an island somewhere off the coast of the ocean where you could see amazing animals just casually going about their day to day? We're talking massive crocs, giant hammerheads, lovable turtles, curious monkeys, and even some animals we didn't know existed. Well, we went there. Come with us and enjoy the trip. Over the coming days, we venture into the heart of the rainforest. It's pretty cool, Lee. Get attacked by monkeys. Oh, no, 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 no. We've stopped. See enormous crocodiles, as well as witnessing the devastation palm oil has caused in this part of the world. Borneo, the world's oldest rainforest. Located in Southeast Asia, home to some of the most diverse and complex ecosystems on the planet. With its lush greenery, rare wildlife, and vibrant indigenous cultures, Borneo has captured the hearts of adventurers, scientists, and nature lovers alike for many years. Watch as we embark on a journey to search for these majestic creatures and explore the magic of the third largest island in the world. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated on our adventures and join us on our journey. So buckle up and get ready to experience the magic of Borneo. we had to leave the orangutans and sepalok behind, we ventured into the jungle and explored the Kinabatangan River. This river stretches through Borneo and measures 560 kilometers long, offering wildlife enthusiasts the chance to glimpse something not seen in other parts of the world. We left our accommodation in sepalok and headed out to explore more of the beautiful jungle. And we're on the bus. I say that. <laughs> to head deeper into the rainforest to a little known place called Sukau. After the two hour bus journey, we arrive in the jungle and are shown around our home for the next few days. Let's go take a look and see what the rooms are like. So you've got air conditioning, which works fantastically well. You've got a fan, you've got beautiful lights. They even give you hangers as well. We cannot open the door because the macars will come in. So we have to keep the door closed, keep everything locked. What's the bed like? Oh, that's very soft. That's very soft. Mosquito nets as well. I love how tall this place is. Let's go into the bathroom. Ta da! I have to say, that's pretty snazzy. And it's just a normal bathroom. Got a little rain shower. On the right, you really do see the destruction that palm oil has caused. You see a lot of it. This is the first time we've seen it on this trip. You just see massive piles of land completely wiped out, or with very, very small trees with huge trees in the background. I suppose that's what they call sustainable palm oil, but I don't think that's such a thing. So it's around about three o'clock now. We have our first activity planned at four o'clock. We've got a lot to cover, but let's get out there first. Hello. Our stay here includes two river trips, one first thing in the morning and one in the afternoon. And then we get one day hike and one night hike. We paid this much to stay here. This includes your breakfast, lunch and dinner, along with tea, coffee and snacks in between, which we took full advantage of. Life jacketed up. So cool. What an outfit. Let me zoom out. It's a great outfit. I love it. As soon as we got on the boat, the tour guide gave us a quick introduction to the river we were about to explore and what to expect. Around 560 kilometers from up river to down river. So now we go to down river, take about two hours, depends what we see. He explained to us that we might see proboscis monkeys, orangutans, crocodiles, and even elephants. If I see something, I will show you. Oh, I'm nervous. Who we can see nearly? Crocodiles. Crocodiles, I hope. Everyone okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, We need to search high and low for all of the wildlife, the native monkeys, rare birds high up in the trees, and the pygmy elephants and huge crocodiles low in the riverbanks and the water. I think we found something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a proboscis. Right there. You can see where this long tree is. Look to the left branch there. 
and then there's another one to the right. Oh look, there's another one up there. Oh, there's another one there. We saw proboscis. This was a perfect day. We felt truly relaxed here, in amongst the nature, yet full of excitement and gratitude to search for the animals in the rainforest. And then, a crocodile. Uh, right there. Oh, there you go. You can see it. Yeah. You see where this gap is? The mud, right there. Its mouth is open. Yeah, it's mad, right? Damn, crocodile. Yes. We found one! Yeah. After the excitement of the crocodiles, we continued down the river in search for all of the other wildlife. Further along, we found a place where monkeys were crossing the river over a high cable. We found out that it was attached within the trees from one side to the other side of the river. Our guide told us the story that monkeys were trying to cross the river by swimming and it was far too dangerous for them. The locals fashioned together this cable, giving the animals safe passage across the river. These little monkeys are called Macau monkeys, and we spotted them frequently along the riverside. The proboscis monkeys, however, were a little harder to spot and quite skittish when startled. Oh, wow. Which made it all the more special when we did see them. Oh. Oh, and then the baby one with the baby. Of course, the Macau monkeys always made an appearance and were incredibly curious. <laughs> that was cute. As the sun started to set, we made our way back to the lodge. After the excitement from the day, we were ready for some food and to discuss everything we'd seen from our first day's boat ride. Did it with a cruise! Excited for the evening night walk, we took to our rooms, rested, then made our way out to explore the jungle in the darkness. Probably won't be able to see much because obviously it's like super dark and we're going through the jungle, but let's hope to see some cool stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We're going deep into the Borneo rainforest. We stumbled around in the dark, excited for what we were about to see. Uh, we've not seen anything yet. We saw a cat. We saw a massive ladybug though. Oh yeah, that was like the entrance. <laughs> See this leaf just hovering in here. It's a pretty cool leaf. Oh, he's giving something interesting, but way all the way at the back. Sad face. Mm. The night sky looked beautiful though. We just couldn't capture it. As you can hear, the jungle comes alive with the nocturnal creatures and we were ready for them. Take a look at what you could have seen. Oh, that's just mean. Why would you go there? Oh, that would have been so cool to see. <laughs> Fire ants. Oh my goodness. Do you remember the Philippines when they bit through me? Yeah, Little buggers. Whoa. Like, holy smokes. Like wow, that it's is... Basically uh, itchy. I feel yeah. like they're on me. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. Despite the amazing ant colonies we were seeing, we were finding it hard to see any of the large nocturnal animals, so had to resort to entertaining ourselves at the back of the class. GT found home. So above this wretched terrain is a beautiful, beautiful Milky Way. So when you come over to Borneo, be sure to look up, not only at the trees, but also at the sky. I don't have to go home and capture this. But trust us, look above you. This is the spectacle waiting for you in Borneo. What came out of that? Damn, ninja skill spider. We journeyed forward through the muddiest path and witnessed some gorgeous sights we wouldn't have seen in the day. You know you're in the jungle when you see trees like this. Hello, little snail. Arriving back at the lodge, we finished the night bitten by mosquitoes and feeling a little disappointed. But as we all know, nature is unpredictable and we just had an unlucky walk. It doesn't look particularly eventful. We were still in high spirits and had really enjoyed ourselves, largely due to our new friends. Maybe tomorrow we'll be better. Yeah, let's hope. We'll get to the front. Yeah. We woke on day two, eager to see more of the jungle. 
Good morning. Day two begins and we start with a river cruise at 6 a.m. You do hear roosters around about half five and you hear so many monkeys, man. Anyway, let's get on the boat. It was really pleasant to wake up early and get a head start on the day. The grounds here are so beautiful. The walkways are elevated on wooden stilts directly into the jungle. This prevents the jungle animals from getting into the rooms, though there are always monkeys around ready to steal some leftovers. While we were recording this footage, a monkey dropped down from the ceiling and stole our friend's breakfast. So just be aware that the Macau monkeys live all around the lodge and will steal anything that's not nailed down or locked in your rooms. So watch your stuff and your breakfast. Hello. <laughs> Don't let the monkeys get my hat. They're everywhere. They are this morning, they're everywhere. You hear them clambering? It's not like it's scary. Oh, Everyone's on the boat. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a big crocodile, mate. That is a pretty big crocodile. That's a large croc. Oh, it's hard to see you. Yeah, you know, one. Who's gonna save you? The morning river cruise was a success as we saw more and more Macau monkeys, proboscis monkeys, and even hornbills. Oh no, two hornbills. Yeah. You know, I only see one. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's cool. Only gone. Oh no, there's two more. Wow. Our excitement increased and we felt for sure we would finally see the pygmy elephants. The river was quiet and incredibly beautiful. As we glided down, we knew this was exactly what we had come for. If you close your eyes now, you can imagine you are drifting down the Kinabatangan River with us. The water lapping at the side of the boat, laughing with friends and finding joy in spotting wildlife peeking through the trees and out of the riverbanks. Each of us wondering if a crocodile would pop up at any moment. Let's see if you can spot the crocodile here. There it is. Oh my goodness. Another hornbill. Wow. We really should have bought binoculars. After all the excitement, we could feel our tummies rumbling and knew it was time for breakfast. So we headed back to regroup and get a little bit of rest before our next adventure. How's that, babes? We saw hornbills. So many hornbills. An eagle, yeah, yeah. So, so far in Borneo, we've seen orangutans, some bears, proboscis monkeys, hornbill. Yeah, the macaw. I mean, you see them all everywhere. Only thing that's left is the elephant. And the guy was like, no chance, mate. No chance. But we'll see. Inshallah, we will. Anyway, we've got to go have breakfast. Yes, my stomach is wrong. Woo! After breakfast, our guides gave us an option to venture out to a different location. Good afternoon, guys. This is not included in a tour. A few people have been speaking to guides and managed to get this done. Pretty exciting, actually. We're going to go in the boat. We're going to go across the river. We're going to... Go inside the actual Borneo rainforest. This additional river trip cost us an extra 50 huh. ringgit each. Per person. Ringgit. Oh. So before lunch, we made our way onto the boat to explore a different area of the jungle. Stepping into Borneo. Our guide taught us how to remove a leech. We were given a quick warning and then an explanation of how to remove them if you do get one on you. The trick is to flick oh, the leech oh, off you. Okay. Your friend, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, okay. Just no everybody look at each other's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we began our trek. The Borneo rainforest seemed very dense. It might just be the beginning. We walked and walked and walked. Oh shit, this is our first bit of wildlife. Wow, that is quite pretty, isn't it? I thought I'd be freaked out. Centipede or minipede? If you know the difference, let us know in the comments. We made our way deeper into the rainforest, excited to see what else we would find. More mud. The terrain was muddy, but we were glad to have our wellies on. Saw a stick insect, and we just saw another one flying down. You see the little orange? Yeah, it's quite cold. 
No matter what we saw, it still felt kind of cool to be surrounded by incredible creatures, even when we didn't see them. Oh, we see something. Look, do you see it? Monkeys are watching us. Yeah, proboscis monkeys right in there. Too fast. So we heard it, but we never saw it. We actually didn't spot much here. However, it was a really pleasant hike and we were truly grateful for the vast amount of shade in the midday heat. The noises in the jungle were enchanting. So here is an elephant step. They're nearby. That's mad. Yeah, that's good, huh? Elephant footprints? We were so excited. Maybe today was the day. We continued clambering through, stopping for any sound or evidence that a creature was nearby. Look at that thick jungle. This is a caterpillar. Beautiful. We are basically racing out of this bit of jungle to get back to the boat. We can't even see our guide. We haven't even seen him for like 20 minutes. So we're just following a trail. We hope it gets us back to the boat. And we were still making our own entertainment. You're telling me your car? <laughs> Do you get it? Mm. Because they're Boston fans. Uh -oh. <laughs> your car. Why didn't you tell me she was a car? Did you know she was a car? I didn't know she was a car. You know he was a car. Go on, babes. Give me your best Boston accent. You know she was weird. Did you know? Where are you from? Why are you a car? I'm not a car. Are you I'm not a car. Quincy Market. Let's go down Quincy Market. That's really cool. <gasps> we see the river. So, it is this way. Well, we hope it's this way. Well, we've heard of proboscis monkey. We haven't seen anything, but we saw a few caterpillars, which was awesome. Caterpillars are cool. Nearly at the boat. Well, actually, I thought we were, but we seem to still be walking. <laughs> hey, made it back to the boat. Oh, there's a rope. Back from the unplanned excursion. Let's rest. Uh, well, we fell asleep. The jungle cruise is going to go on in about two minutes. It's 3:58. We were awoken by the doors banging. So, yeah, great. All right, let's 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 hope we can still on the boat. Everyone's queuing. We can see them from there. It's meant to be, right? We literally just got up. Let's check it out. It's gone. <laughs> And then we can extend the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, oh, yeah. there's Whiskers Monkey. They are very silent, not moving. So we're now watch too. Oh, okay. oh, oh sh! Wait, is that Whiskers? I think it is. Oh damn! Excuse my language. The Proboscis Monkey, a monkey indigenous to this area of Borneo and under protection. Biscuits monkey right there. We couldn't believe it. A proboscis monkey leaping through the jungle right in front of us. Naturally shy creatures, they tend to be quite skittish, so each flash of a tail excited us. I seen a crocodile. Oh my goodness, that's a monster. Did you really see that? Yeah, how can you not? You see you you see where those two things sticking out right in between. That, that is massive. Wow. Holy lightning shit. over there. And we just saw lightning. Crocodile to our left. Thunderstorm to our right. Hopefully not this fella. Or lady. 
Uh, Jurassic Park seemed to be having ancient trouble. <laughs> oh, he's moving, he's going. The towel is under the water. Oh, the eyes are still up. See you quite, mate. Bye. Merry Christmas. I don't see you. This is it. Good evening and good night. So we found a lot of proboscis monkeys. You want to head to the small river. There's a massive family here. About six, seven people. Six, seven people? Six, seven monkeys, I counted. just in case we heard something. The sun was setting and the lightning had ceased. The day and our stay here was coming to an end. It had been beautiful. Dinner, chat, and a quick chance to change for our last night hike. We gathered all together to see what the darkness had in store for us tonight. Night walk. We hiked through the same area as the previous night. Night walk. On this night walk, the stars steal the show. Seriously, look up when you do this. Mad good. Over an hour of walking in the dark, admiring the night sky, we had finally caught a glimpse of our first wild animal. What is it? The slow loris, native to Borneo. Oh, is it? Oh, sh oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You can see the eyes. Do you see it, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Back up into me. Yeah. Come here. There you go. Do you see this opening here of these two leaves in between them? Right there. Something's moving. Do you see it? Always coming for us. Oh, I see. Yeah. His eyes. As we said goodbye to the animals that we could hear in the rainforest, we made our way back to bed. Thanks, Bob. We saw a bird at the start, which was really beautiful. Then everything else, it was just a walk in the jungle. Literally like a walk in the park. Yeah. But it was quite nice, just a, it's a nice thing to do at night. Yeah, and then what did we see in, at the end? Oh, at the end we saw a little bush baby. Slow laurel. Slow laurel, that's what they're called. Um, Venomous. Yeah, we didn't know that. Oh. And is there saliva that's venomous? Yeah. I'm guessing it's if it's attacked because it could have just dribbled and got us, right? Yeah, let's hope not. Anyway, we're going to have some tea and go to bed because tomorrow is going to be a long day. Another early start. It's now about 5 to 6 a.m. This is our last jungle cruise before we go to our next destination. Let's keep Stumbled upon a smaller boat. What have they seen? What will we see? Binoculars ready. They are morning macaw monkeys. No, they aren't macaw monkeys, it's the morning. I get it. Oh wow, you can see them, little babies. 
There is a monitor lizard on that branch. Resting. Oh wow, it's massive. Oh, we got binoculars. For our guide as we had no idea some animals were there without their guidance. As the hornbills flew overhead we realised just how blessed we were to be able to have seen everything that we'd seen on this journey. Toodles macaws of Borneo. And it's been quite an adventure. Toodles! If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to follow along with us on our travels. I don't think we can check out because there's a monkey right in the thing. Oh, there's two monkeys! Uh oh. Oh shit, did we leave our door open? A couple of monkeys. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Come on, man! It's gone. We're scared away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was scary. Positivity! Yay! A man bag's come through and scathed thus far. All the sun cream inside. Yeah. Thanks, Nelly. <laughs> How was it? Caught you at a bad time. <laughs> I know, I know. It was, uh, it was very hot. Um, yeah. I say that about everything here, sorry. Hello, Nelly. How are you feeling? Warm. there captain oh, oh. Oh, oh, eh? 